Generation 3 AirPods are technically better than their Generation 2 predecessor, but I downgraded from Gen 3 to Gen 2 and you may want to do the same. Here's why. Make sure to watch this video in its entirety to understand which version is best for you and why. Let's start by comparing the charging cases. At first glance, these cases are quite similar. They're roughly the same size. They both have magnetic lids. They both have a Bluetooth button and charge via lightning cable. The third generation case is shorter and wider, while the second generation case is taller and more narrow. And when inside the case, the third gen faces inward, whereas the second generation faces outward. The biggest difference between the cases is their respective functionalities. The third generation comes with the option to wirelessly charge, whereas the second generation does not natively support that. Now, you can upgrade your generation two case to get wireless charging for $79. However, I don't know. It's kind of a cool feature to have, but is it really necessary? I mean, you plug in the lightning cable and it charges super quickly anyway. So for me, not a big deal. The shape and sizes of these two earbuds is where I noticed the biggest difference. Gen 3 has a bulkier head with a shorter stem, whereas the second generation has a longer stem and a more compact head. The generation 3's bulbous head ends up making it a little bit heavier than the generation 2 when compared weight wise. So when you're using the earbuds for a extended period of time, like if you're on the phone for a long time or you're in work meetings or you're just listening to music for a very long time, it could start to get slightly more uncomfortable than the Generation 2 with a lighter weight. Therefore, the Generation 2 is likely a little bit more comfortable than the Generation 3 for prolonged usage. The shorter stock is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, so it looks better in your ear. But for a large group of people, this big head makes it not fit into their ears, myself included. They are simply just too big. I took both to the gym to show how they fare during a workout. Notice how the Gen 2 version stays snug in my ear. Even with the most vigorous movements, it stays in place. The Generation 3 falls out of my ear while skipping rope and even falls out during a leisurely walk. I did not get footage of that, but trust me, it happened constantly before I switched to the Generation 2. Now, I know I said the biggest difference between these two AirPods is the size, but in reality, the biggest difference is the functionality and the capabilities of each of these AirPods compared to each other. Gen 2 AirPods come equipped with proximity sensors to determine whether they are in your ear or not. However, this can be problematic because sometimes the earbuds think that they're in your ears when really they're bouncing around in your pocket or they're in your hands and they start playing the sound or connect to your phone call and that can be kind of annoying. Apple supposedly innovated with the generation threes to have a more reliable skin sensor so that this does not happen as often. But from my personal experience, I did not notice much difference. With both the gen two and gen three, they usually stay connected to my phone even when they are in my pocket. Gen two utilizes the traditional double tap feature for skipping to the next song, playing and pausing, uh, going back one track or activating Siri. Similar to how YouTube utilizes a tapping method to like and subscribe. Apple decided to switch up the method with Gen 3 to a pinching action on the stock of the bud. Technically, there are more options with the pinching method. For me, pinching the stock did not work very well, and I felt like I pretty much needed to take the bud out of my ear for it to work. It's a really awkward angle for me, so I actually prefer the tapping method. Gen 3 is IPX4 water resistant, whereas Gen 2 is not rated on the IPX scale at all. But I use the Generation 2 for working out at the gym all the time. I sweat in them. I know, gross, but they don't exit my ear at all. It's great. The biggest performance difference comes from the all new acoustic system in the Gen 3. Adaptive EQ is a feature that uniquely tailors the sound coming from the AirPods to your exact ear. Spatial audio with head tracking is a 360 degree sound format. And when you turn your head, the sound enters your ears according to where the sound is located. For example, let's say you're watching a movie and you're wearing your Generation 3 AirPods. You hear a puddle splashing from the left side because on the screen someone jumps in a puddle on the left side. If you turn your head to the left because you're looking at where the puddle is, you should hear equal sounds from the left and right sides of your AirPods. Also, there are some playlists specifically for spatial audio, which are kind of cool. Overall, it's a cool concept, but I actually found it more annoying than I found it useful, especially when just listening to music or if I'm on a phone call and the audio is going all over from my left ear to the right ear. This feature, I will say, is probably super useful for something like the Apple Vision Pro VR headset. I can see that being a useful feature for the spatial audio for the AirPods. I think it's actually very 
useless. Think about it, if you're watching something on a flat screen, how often is it that you're gonna turn your head to the side to hear sound differently and not be able to see the screen in front of you? It doesn't really make much sense. So if the third gen fits in your ear, it technically should have better audio quality than the second generation AirPods. But in my case, because it doesn't even really fit into my ear properly, the boosted bass, refined audio, and other features ended up being pretty much irrelevant. Unless I physically push the generation three into my ear and hold it tight, for me, I can't notice the bass boost, I can't notice the higher quality audio, so there's no point. It's actually irrelevant for me to have something like this that technically is better, but really, I won't notice a difference. Battery life is always important to consider with any tech product, so with the Generation 2, you can expect about 5 hours of audio or 24 hours if using the case, and 6 hours of audio with the Generation 3 or 30 hours with the fully charged case. Either way, you get tons of listening time. I don't think this is a problem, especially with charging the case super quickly too. Like, it, it's not like it takes hours to charge this case. You know, either case is gonna charge relatively quickly. Either way, you get tons of listening time with each of these options, so I don't think battery life is gonna be a big problem, especially when charging in the cases is extremely quick. In fact, it's almost as quick as hitting the subscribe button. Finally, how do they sound when speaking into the microphones of each? I did a little test, so let me know in the comments if you notice any differences. This is how the AirPod Generation 2 sounds in a quiet environment. This is how the Generation 3 AirPods sound in a quiet environment. This is how the second generation AirPods sound in a loud environment. This is how the AirPod Generation 3 sounds in a louder environment. So how much do Apple AirPods cost? What is the Air cost? Well, the Generation 2 starts at 129 and the Generation 3 is 179. The Apple AirPods Pro starts at 249. So if you're looking for that real next level, you can check out the Apple AirPods Pro and those should fit into any ear size because they have different adapters. So that is the reason I downgraded from generation three to generation two AirPods. If you are into Apple products and you're thinking of getting the Apple Watch, make sure to check out my Apple Watch review video available here once I post the video. Subscribe for more tech videos and I'll see you in the next one.